These are important lessons from a woman who was in debt. A woman who was in debt went to a prophet called Elisha, and she narrated her story, and this is how it goes. She said, my husband, who was one of the sons of the prophet, and you know him, a man who feared God, is dead now. But however, he left us with debt, and the debt would have come to take our sons as payment for the debt. Elisha could have done like any other person would have done. Since your husband belonged to this elite group of men, let me rally around and solicit help from them so that we are able to donate and we settle the bill and then you and your sons are, are set free. But that's not what he did. He asked her a simple question that everybody in any kind of trouble or any kind of problem or anything you're facing right now should ask, what do you have? I'm asking you that question. What do you have? Oftentimes, what you have is little. What you have might seem insignificant, but it is the gift of God given to you to liberate you from all kinds of problems. So Elisha asked her the question, what do you have? And she said initially, I have nothing except a little uh, bottle of oil. He said to her, go gather empty barrels, empty vessels. Bring them into your house. I'll tell you the meaning of that in a minute. Bring them into your house. Shut the door. Shut the window. Pour into them. She went ahead and did so. But let me go back now to the meaning of each and every one of those things that, that, that she said. The oil there speaks of the gift of God given to her. The oil there speaks about your gifts, your talent, an ability that you have, something, a resource that you have. Even though, though little, it has the ability to liberate you. It has the ability to bring you out of that trouble. You need to identify it. So the first thing is identify what has been given to you. The next thing he said, gather empty barrels, empty vessels. Empty barrels speaks of opportunity, space, right? It speaks of opportunity. So you find, when you find the gift, you find your talent, you find that thing given to you, find the opportunity for the manifestation of it. However, he said to her, bring them in to your house, shut the door, shut the window. The doors represent your eyes. The windows represent your ears. In doing this, you would have to shut your eyes and shut your ears. Shut your ears to what men will say because when they speak, it will not make sense for you to be pouring a little bottle of oil into a big empty vessels. So you have to shut your ears. Shut your eyes, right, to the, 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 the reaction, of people to, uh, reaction of people to what you are doing. Because if you pay attention to their reaction, you will not, do, you will not, you will not take actions that will bring liberation. So it is important that you shut your eyes to the reaction of men, if you are going to take actions or you are going to you are going to make moves that will bring liberation, very important. And the woman did exactly how the, or exactly what the prophet has said. She went, she gathered empty vessels, brought them into her house, shut the door, shut the window, shut her eyes, shut her ears to what anybody will say, and began to pour. Now hear this: for as long as there is an opportunity, your gift will continue to speak. For as long as you continue to find opportunities, it will continue to give room. For, it go, go, continue to give room for you to bring in wealth. When she had poured into those empty vessels and there was none left, the oil stopped flowing. You must take note of that. Until there is no more opportunity, which is difficult, or which is practically impossible, your oil will continue to flow. For as long as there is an opportunity, your oil will continue to flow. And when she was done, the prophet said unto her, take the barrels of oil. Go sell them. And when she sold them, the Bible makes us to understand that she sold them, there were enough to pay the debtor and enough for her and her children to live on. This is what happens when you do not just go look for men to give unto you, but you pay attention to find your gift, to find that thing that God has given unto you, to liberate you. Because what it does is it brings you out of trouble and it establishes, establishes you to stay out of trouble. This is a lesson we must all learn if we are going to, we are going to move from problems into the manifest into manifestation of glory if you like with this video you've watched uh click the like button share comment uh, ask someone to watch subscribe follow god bless you